dear friends thanks so much for your support thanks for your prayers and your advice i really appreciate it if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing don't forget to like the video and please leave a comment concerning the discussion let's do this together okay today too i'm here to give you a summary of sabbath afternoon and sunday lessons of lesson four of the third quarter and the lesson for the title is prayer power interceding for others prayer power interceding for others we are giving james 5 16 as our memory test and i read confess your trespass to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much amen and so you and i when we make the decision to pray to confess our sins to one another that is to talk about um the sins we have committed against each other and pray and forgive each other our prayers are going to avail much because when we confess god forgives us and when he forgives us we become righteous based on his righteousness the new testament church had the holy spirit because of prayer the church sustained and grew to this extent for you and I to become part of it because of prayer. It is as a result of prayer that these people came together as one. They were joined together. Everything was moving on well for them because of prayer. The disciples did not ask for a blessing for themselves merely. They were waited with the burden of the salvation of souls. They realized that the gospel was to be carried to the world and they claim the power that Christ had promised. E.G. Why the act of the apostles paid 37 years. The disciples in their prayers, it wasn't just about them. God bless me. God, I need this and all that. But they were so much concerned about winning souls for Christ. Souls are dying. And so on their knees, they, they prayed. And God gave them the Holy Spirit. And at the end of the day, a lot of people gave their lives to Christ. When we ask God and intercede for others, God works in our own heart to draw, to draw us closer to him and gives us divine wisdom to reach them for his kingdom. He also works powerfully in their lives in ways we cannot see or even fully understand to draw them to himself. Amen. And so when we take the decision to pray for others concerning their salvation, the prayer doesn't just work on the people. It works on us too. It helps us also in our salvation. If there is this person you are sharing the message with and the person is being, being difficult, just take the person to the Lord in prayer. And you will see how much God will work on the heart of that person. We are moving straight to Sunday. And the Sunday lesson talks about a cosmic struggle. A cosmic struggle. The Sunday lesson is making us aware that in this our life is a struggle. We are in a great controversy. The devil is fighting to win this person. God is also fighting to win this person. And so the only way we can stand and can win this battle is through prayer. And so when we read Ephesians 6, 12, and I read, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Amen. That is it. The battle we are fighting is not somebody we, you can see and decide to beat the person. It's spiritual battle and we can only win the battle on our knees and so the lesson says that there is a struggle between good and evil between the forces of righteousness and the forces of darkness between christ and satan in this cosmic conflict god respects human freedom he will never manipulate the will or coerce the conscience amen and so that is it this battle that is going on there is no way god will force you God has given you your own will, your own freedom, your own choice to make the decision. What God will do is he will present the truth to you. He will speak to your heart. He will let you know all that you need to know about your salvation. But when it comes to the decision to do what God wants, that decision, God does not force it on us. He leaves it in our own choice to make that decision. Here is where prayer is so significant so that is why prayer is so significant because 
God has given us the will and the devil wants to uh, trample over it and use it for his own purpose. But if you and I pray fervently on our knees for our friends, our families, people, we want them to accept the message. If we pray that God should work on their hearts, God will work on their hearts and the message will be so easy for them to accept. In the great controversy between God and evil, prayer makes a difference. When we pray for someone who does not know Christ, it opens channels of divine blessing to flow into their lives. God honors our choice to pray for them and works even more powerfully in their behalf. Amen. And so when we pray for someone, it doesn't mean God is waiting for us to pray before God will do something. But when we pray, it tells how much we yearn for the salvation of that person. It's also telling us that God is the one who can do this salvation work on, the, on behalf of that person. And so prayer in winning souls is very important. By our strength, we cannot win souls for Christ. But by the grace of God, through our prayers, the message will be accepted by our family and friends and the people we come into contact with. In dealing with the subject of intercessory prayer, we should humbly acknowledge that we do not understand God's workings fully, but this should not keep us from continually entering into the blessings prayer offered for ourselves and for others. Amen. And so that is it. We cannot understand God fully in every way in everything but the more we, we we seek god in prayer and pray it it gives us that kind of assurance and helps us to depend on him and also trust that god will work on the souls we are trying to reach or we are sending the message to thanks so much my dear for your time thanks for watching me thanks for subscribing if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing also, don't forget to share the video for someone to also learn the Sabbath school. You don't know, you might win a soul by sharing this video. Thanks and God richly bless you.